One of the most popular ham radio multi-band antennas is the G5RV, the call sign of the British ham who made it popular. Part of the feed line is window or ladder line as a matching device. And the idea is to have an acceptable SWR across the HF bands. Now, many hams use them with good success, but there's no perfect antenna. ON6URE, Yuri Van Duren, who's a ham and engineer in Belgium, calls the G5RV, and I quote, a misunderstood trickster, more trouble than it's worth, prone to crumble like a house of cards or a poorly made apple cake. Wow. He explains this on his informative, myth-free website, RF Guru. Here's a summary. Over time, the G5RV has been marketed as a multi-band solution, but this reputation rests on a precarious balance of antenna height above ground, exact feed line length and impedance, environmental conditions like moisture, wind, and nearby objects. Owen 6 ure likens the G5RV to a house of cards or an apple cake, delicately balanced and prone to collapse the moment reality shifts, like during rain or even leaves touching the lines. Variants don't solve core issues. Several well-known G5RV style alternatives have emerged. ZS6BKW, the W5GI mystery antenna, the G0FAH optimized G5RV. Though designed to perform, uh, though designed to improve performance, especially on uh, less served bands, they still rely on the same sensitive interplay between antenna, geometry, feed line, and environment, meaning they're still fragile. Okay, well, what do some other experts have to say about the G5RV? Tom Rausch, W8JI, is a highly respected antenna engineer. Effective on five bands, not all. W8JI confirms the G5RV exhibits a reasonable SWR and performs effectively in 80 meters, 40 meters, 20, 15, and 12 meters. However, it is not acceptable on 30, 17, or 10 meters. On these bands, high SWR and potential feed line losses make it a poor performer. But Tom is not all negative about the G5RV. People have an overwhelming prejudice against the G5RV. This prejudice even biases signal reports when they think a G5RV is being used. Like any antenna, the G5RV will work best when up in the clear, run it through the bushes or like a clothesline, and it might be a disappointing antenna, but then so would a dipole or rhombic at the same crummy height. Here's what Walt Maxwell, W2DU, says about the G5RV, straight from his book Reflections 3. The famous 102-foot length isn't magic, except on 20 meters. It's just a random length doublet, any wire that's at least... 3 8 wave at your lowest band will work similarly when used with parallel feeders and a tuner. Varney, that's a G5RV, designed it as a 3-2 radiator on 20 meters to get a four-lobe pattern and a low feed point impedance. Around mid-band, the feed point's about 100 ohms in free space. So feeding it with a 50 ohm line gives roughly a 1.8 to 1 SWR in 20 meters, matchable even without a tuner. Now, off 20 meters, it behaves like any random link dipole. You should use open wire ladder line plus a tuner. The exact 102 foot length offers no special advantage on the other bands. For multi band work, Maxwell, he favored a ladder line fed doublet with a tuner rather than relying on the G5RV mystique. 
On balance, tuners, he stresses, using a current choke, a ballon, for example, the W2 uh, DU bead ballon, and notes that putting a voltage ballon at a tuner's output can be problematic under high SWR. So in short, Maxwell thought the G5RV is clever for 20 meters, but on other bands, it's just a compromised doublet that works best with parallel line and tuner. No magic in 102 feet. And on that, we find agreement from Yuri, ON6URE. The doublet, unapologetically honest. The doublet is a center-fed dipole of any length, typically between 30 and 80 meters, fed with an open wire. We use 600 ohms. There is no built-in expectation that it will be resident on any band, and that's a feature, not a bug. I like that attitude. The open wire presents low loss, even under high SWR, and a quality tuner system handles the transformation. What makes the doublet so attractive is its brutal honesty. It makes no secret of its needs. It says, I'll work across many bands, but give me height, give me balance, and give me a good tuner. Give me liberty or give me death. However, balance line, like ladder line, can be hard to install. It can't touch anything metal like coax cable can. What you can do is run ladder line or window line as far as you can and then use a ballon to connect it to a short run of quality coax to the antenna tuner in the shack. So, as I see it, with a doublet, just get as much wire as high as you can, feed it with ladder line, and let the tuner deal with the impedance. That could be a great multiband antenna. Consider subscribing to this channel, ring the bell for updates in 73.